So lack of knowledge does not only destroy you or does not only have the potential to destroy you, it can lead you into captivity. So you either have captivity, spiritual captivity, or even physical sometimes, or you have destruction. And that's only because you are ignorant. So when the Bible talks about, when God talks about my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, the domino effect of that verse, Hosea 4, 6, ends with, because you have forgotten my laws, I have forgotten your children. He says, because you forgot my laws, I have forgotten your children. Like what? And then Isaiah 5, 13 says that, my people are taken into captivity for lack of knowledge. Okay. Now, you may think that's like, okay, it's not that big of a deal. It's just the Bible. But these are spiritual laws. These are spiritual protocols, spiritual principles that guide the life on this earth. So whether you partake in them or not, you kind of are. And the ignorant part leads you into captivity or destruction. For example, Matthew 5, 25, 26, it talks about a person who has refused to forgive another person. And because of that, they are led into captivity. So sometimes some people are poor, like just stuck in poverty because of what? Unforgiveness. But you would not know that. You would not know that because you don't read the Bible or you're ignorant. So when he says, yeah, God, give me money. God, I want this. God, I want this. God, why me? Why me? But you wouldn't know that Matthew 5, 25, 26 gives us a parable about unforgiveness. And it says, throw him in prison until he has the last penny, until he's paid the last penny. That is poverty. That is lack. Because a prisoner is not able to work. A prisoner is not able to make their own schedule. A prisoner is stuck in one place. They can't move forward. But why am I harping about this? Why am I talking about this so passionately? Because the Bible talks about study to make yourself approved. That is your responsibility. As a follower of Jesus Christ, you are responsible not to be ignorant of the laws of God. Because it says, because you have forgotten my laws. I have forgotten your children. Study to make yourself approved. Why? So you know what's in the Bible. Like how are you going to meditate on the law, the book of the law, Joshua 1, 8, without knowing what's in the book of the law? Now the reason I'm saying this is because we're Christ followers. And our pattern is Jesus. Jesus Christ is our pattern. He's my pattern. So let me... Let me speak for myself. Jesus Christ is my pattern. I follow Jesus. I follow Christ Jesus. Okay? And so because of that, I look on what he did, where he did that, how he maneuvered different situations, uh, certain topics. I look to Jesus first. And then I can look at the, the prophets. I'm not undermining them, but our followership, like we follow Christ Jesus. You are a Christian, meaning you follow Christ. And Christ studied he studied you're probably thinking where primrose where did he study where does it say that christ studied okay so there's a chapter in luke chapter 2 of luke talks about that his family had gone to jerusalem and they were on the journey back home and mary and joseph thought that jesus was in the midst of the acquaintances and the relatives and after a day's journey they realized wow jesus is not here he is 12 years old, you guys. He is 12 years old. A 12-year-old son is missing. He's not in the company of travelers. He is missing. So they go back to Jerusalem. A three, a, let me go to Luke chapter 2 to read it for you. Uh, so uh, Luke 2, 46 says, Now, so it was that after three days, they found him. So they went back to Jerusalem, searched for him. And after three days, they found him where? In the temple, seated among the teachers, in the midst of the teachers, both listening and asking these them questions. He was listening and asking the teachers questions. Why? He was learning. Verse 47. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So Jesus studied to make himself approved. 
he didn't just take his yes he was 100 human and 100 god but he still went through the processes that we have to go through he went through all the steps we have to go through you guys he studied at 12 you know some of us start a bit late like for me at my 30s when i started to study but nonetheless you know send the bible in, in your 30s rather well than starting at 60 right i'm not comparing but i'm saying that jesus christ studied this at 12 years old so we're sitting there both listening and asking questions now i want to pause here for a second and explain the difference between listening and hearing when i hear a noise I can pay attention to that noise or I can ignore that noise. The decision is mine. When I'm listening to something, I'm listening to understand, to decipher what I have heard, to ponder what I've heard, to say, oh, wow, I get that. I understand, right? Listening is active. Hearing is passive. Listening is active because I'm using my brain cells to decipher what I have heard. And then I'm able to reiterate what I have heard. I'm able to teach another person what I have heard. Why? Because in verse 47, it says this, And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So he listened and he understood. Listened, asked questions, and then repeated what he heard. And they were able to assess, wow, his understanding is on a different level. Okay, now, the reason this is important is because we want to grow. We want growth. Guys, the first signs of death is stagnancy. The first sign, if you ever want to assess whether a situation, a relationship, uh, a plant, a tree, anything, if you want to assess whether it's dying or not or about to die, stagnancy is a first sign of death. Okay? So, Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor before God and man. I love that scripture. I love that scripture. But some of us, like, you know, like I did, I went to that scripture in Luke 2, 42, and I read, wow, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. And I, I just stopped there. I just took that scripture because I loved it. I, just, I would quote that. I would read that, meditate on that. But not knowing that Jesus Christ put in work, he had put in effort. He had actively done something to grow in wisdom, grow in stature, grow in favor with God and man. Because God says, if you forget my laws, I'll forget your children. God cannot tolerate ignorance. He can't. So in order for us to grow, we need to actively listen, ask questions, understand what we're hearing, and then be able to reiterate, be able to teach other people what we have heard. True understanding is when you can teach another person what you have understood. Amen. God bless you. Happy learning.